breathe in. I bet 99% of you just did that wrong. And it's killing your sleep, your stamina, and your mental health. Here's how to breathe like a Buddha, an Iceman, and a Navy SEAL. Most people don't know the power breathing has on their lives. The mental, physical, and spiritual states all center around breathing. Change your breathing and you can change many aspects of your life that you would have expected to be much harder to change. This isn't woo-woo pseudoscience either. There's been several studies that have been done that show these types of breathing can create a lasting impact on these parts of your life. The funny thing is, we've known this for thousands of years. It goes all the way back to the ancient Indians, Chinese, and even the Egyptians. I won't bore you on all that stuff, and a whole other video could be made on it, but just trust me, this stuff works. So without any further ado, here's the first breathing technique that will change your life. This is probably the easiest technique out there to grasp, but it might be the most impactful. This one goes back to a man named Siddhartha Gautama. Better known as the Buddha. And all you have to do to practice this technique is be aware of your breath. So try this with me. As you take a long breath, just be aware that you're taking a long breath. As you breathe a short breath, be aware that you're taking a short breath. As you breathe in, feel your mind. As you breathe out, feel it more. As you breathe in, feel happiness. As you breathe out, let it expand. You want to breathe through what Zen gurus call the hara, your lower abdomen. This is the key. This is what I was referring to when I said 99% of you were doing breathing wrong at the beginning of this video. About half of you were probably doing this. All right. So to make this easier, you want to put your hand on your abdomen and then focus on keeping your chest back and pushing the air past it right down into your stomach. You ready? Try. All right. You also want to expand outward in every direction, 360 degrees, not just the front. You ready? Try again. My cat can show you how it's done. So you can see his entire body expands around. His stomach expands in every direction. It's natural to breathe like this, and we should breathe like it too. Section two, breathing like an ice man. But not just any ice man, this ice man, Wim Hof. Wim Hof's wife took her own life in 1995, likely due to her schizophrenia. Wim learned to deal with the grief through cold exposure and the breathing technique I'm about to show you. And if you've heard of this technique, stick around because I have some tips on it that you've probably never heard anywhere else before. This technique consists of 30 deep breaths and then holding your breath for as long as you can, exhaling, breathing in again for 15 seconds, and then done. After you do three rounds of that, you'll emerge feeling like Superman. There's three secrets to this technique you have to know for it to work to its fullest. And if you're wondering if I'm going to change locations after every scene, the answer is yes. Now, the first technique is an extension of diaphragm breathing. And when I said that 99% of you were breathing wrong at the start, and half of you were doing it because you weren't breathing through your diaphragm the way you're supposed to, well, this is what I meant the other half was doing wrong. To get the fullest breath possible, you want to first breathe into your diaphragm and then your chest, okay? You want to do both of them in a fully circular manner. And to do this, you want to focus on keeping your chest back and pushing the air behind it into your diaphragm. All right, you ready? Let's try it together. You probably felt some tension there, which actually connects to the third secret. But we're going to do the second one first, okay? So, in the first round of Wim Hof breathing, you want to breathe through your nose. And that's because there's many studies that have shown that breathing through your nose actually has benefits on your happiness, your sleep, and even aids in your immune system. So on your first round, breathe through your nose, and then the other two, breathe through your mouth. All right. The third secret is that those tensions you feel when you breathe in deep into your diaphragm are actually normal. You've been probably feeling them throughout the video, 
and they've probably been the reason that you're going to click off of this and never try it again, but I want you to stick around because I'm going to show you how you can deal with them, and it's super simple. All you need to do is find exactly where it is and then breathe into it and expand it like a billows. And if you do this enough over time, the detentions will begin to subside, and by your third round of Gwim Paul breathing, you'll be breathing fully circular breaths like a pro. And if you want a guide for this, just look up Guided Wim Hof Breathing. There's one out there by the master himself with over 60 million views. You won't be disappointed. The last one is the Navy SEAL method of breathing, and this one's called box breathing, okay? It's very simple, but it's a way that you can quickly relieve stress, and it's been studied many times and shown to get you into the moment right when you need to be. Here's how to do it. It's very simple. Simply breathe in for four seconds, hold for four, breathe out for four, hold for four. And then you can continue this pattern with the same diaphragm breathing that we've been practicing this entire time. This will get you into the moment, I guarantee it. Use it whenever you have stress to cope with it and it'll just change your life in the way that you deal with your emotions. Thanks for watching the video. I'm a one-man team making these videos all by myself. So if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Start a discussion in the comments, anything that you like. Now, this is Zentech, signing out. Stay Zen.